What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Wayward. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a little while. And actually, I'm not sure what my next goal is. We There are things that will thoroughly destroy us down in the dungeon. There are things that will make us hurt and say bad things about our families and also the families of those we care about. They will just make it... Is that bear fighting with a shark right now? Please tell me that bear is fighting that shark. Oh, dude, I want so badly for that bear to be fighting that shark. That would have been the best thing I've ever witnessed in a video game. A bear fighting a shark. I mean... If your game doesn't allow you to have a bear fighting a shark, what does it allow? You know, what does it allow? Let's get a fire started. Oh, I don't have any tinder to start said fire. Damn it! Yay, tinder! Starting the fire! Can I cook the onions? Because... Oh, I can preserve it with slime gelatin. What? Who knew that you could even do that? That's pretty badass. I was completely and totally... Ooh, cooked spider. Yes, please. I'll take some cooked spider right now. Yeah, in today's episode, we're probably gonna have to feel out what we want to do. I haven't really decided. They finally fixed my my leg is broken. I have a broken leg right now, and they gave me one of those robo boot things. It's so much more comfortable than the splint and the cast. Oh my god, it's like a it's weird. It's got pumps on it, like old Nikes, you know. Like you can like push a button on it, it's like then I can inflate it so I can get my jump shot off cleaner. I'd be like Steph Curry from the corner. Is gonna get a bunch of down thumbs now. They would be all salty about Steph Curry. I'd be like, dude, he lost. How are you gonna be salty? I mean, when Steph Curry has an off day, the Warriors have an off day. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Oh, actually, we need to make a new chest, is what we need to make. We need to make a new chest very, very badly. So let's get on that. I, no, do not chop it. I respect the fact that you feel like you're capable of chopping a tree down with a spear, but not advised. There we go. That's what I... How many of these do I need now? I hope that bear doesn't mess with me. He doesn't seem like an asshole. Like, he seems like he'll probably leave me alone. I'm just going to take some damage here and not care about it. I'm going to throw my back out nice and early in my career. Because I don't like being in comfort. I like my body to just hurt all the time. And then we'll eat some of that food to get some stamina back and make our life a little bit more solid. And then I should have some water around here. This might be the first game that I've ever boiled water over a torch in. Although it looks like we over ate, so we lost 10 stamina, but my stamina was already under 10. So it looks like we ended out net positive? I don't know. I wonder how hard it is to fight a bear. I mean, he's out there. We could fight him. It's not unheard of. I mean, we could try. Let's... I'm actually going to use this to store stone stuff on this side. Basically, stone and bone versus wood. Wood is going to be on this side. Stone and bone are going to be on the other side. Stone and bone. That sounds like some filthy shit that, like, a stone golem would say when he's talking dirty with his friends. Like, when there's no lady stones around, he'd be like, Yeah, man, you know me. Every weekend out there, just a rolling stone. You know how I treat him, just stone him and bone him. You know, it just sounds like the things, like, an asshole would say behind closed doors if he was, like, an asshole golem. I don't know. That's These are the things that come into my mind when I, when I think my thoughts late in the night. We got no stamina left. I should probably sleep. Let's... Let's schlep a little bit, shall we? Oh! <gasps> The bear broke through the wall, bro! Oh, no. No, this is not acceptable, bear. This is not acceptable. You best back up, bear. He busted through our wall. He was like, oh, yeah! And just came through. Dude. He just went through our wall. Dick. Now I gotta put that back down on the ground and I gotta repair it with a hammer, you douche. Ah, oh, Christ. I'm not gonna fight a bear and just like hope that he can't get through iron armor. I repaired the stone wall, so that's pretty cool. So I can put my wall back in now. Like, why are you busting through my door, you fuzzy douchebag? You like middleweight wannabe dog panda? Like, why are you in here? Get out of my house and leave me alone. Man, why does everybody always gotta mess with me? This is my life right now. Shark, I command you to bite him. Bite him for being a jerk to me. And I really would prefer not to fight the bear. Like, I don't want to fight the bear at all either. I just want her to have nap time without getting run up on by a bear. Is that too much to ask? I mean, honestly. I 
I don't think I want to fight a bear though, but I can't really do anything until he goes away. But my defense is not that good. Like, my defense needs to be better. Well, hopefully he'll leave me alone this time. It's hard to tell. We lost three hunger and we gained some health and some other stuff, so that'll be all right. I am going to try and move some things around. So we'll put stone and bone, like I said. Grab that real quick and we'll organize it. Move all to the container. If he busts through my wall again, I'm going to be very upset with him. Like, I'm going to have problems with that. I'm going to have problems with that bear. He and I are going to have words. And those words are, bear, stop breaking into my house before I stab you with a spear. And he'll be like, I'm a bear. Spears don't stop me. I'm too gangster for that shit. And I'll be like, but damn, will it hurt for a couple of days. You'll remember me. I'll give you a scar, bear. I'll give you a scar. I'll let you find out, bear. So that's stone and bone. We'll move all that to my inventory. That's some coal, too. But, like, honestly, I find it hard to care about the coal. Coal doesn't like to be cared about in the first place, so... There we go. We'll move some of that over. And then it might actually be worth it to take the best of these. It was the best stone. There we go. So I've got that. And maybe just make a new knife. And that one is remarkable and has 59 durability so that we can use it over the long term. I don't know what I want to do right now. Like, part of me just wants to look around for iron and, like, hunt that shit down and just, like, hope for the best. And then part of me is kind of like, well, you know, what you going to do when I slide through? When I slide through, what you going to do? All right, so... Argh, bear, why are you such a dick to me? Oh, that's not going to work. Okay, so maybe I'll go back to the hammer then. Ow. I mean, we got him back, and we leveled up from punching a bear. If there was any activity in life that would make you level up, punching a bear seems to me to be the one that would be it. I mean, you punched a bear to death. I just fought a bear with a war hammer and slew it. I feel like that's worth something. Like, I, I feel like my name should be inscribed upon the stone somewhere. Did it kill the rat or did I kill the rat? I can't recall if I killed the rat or if he killed the rat. We don't have any kindling. Well, fine then. Where's my kindling at? How come kindling is not coming up? I need tree bark. Ass! Assy poopy butt. All right, so with a mighty valiant cry of assy poopy butt. We go out to get bark. Bark, bark. And then we make more kindling, and then we make more tinder, and then life is good. Maybe for a little while until another bear tries to murder me. Damn it. And then we will stoke the flames with the mighty fire. I will cook meat. And I will become strong from taking it into my body. And then we will make giblets out of that. I will dig up some dirt. And we will make a field over here where we can plant stuff. So that we have crops. And we can grow flowers. And we can grow other. The flowers. I'm not just growing. I'm not just growing flowers because of my girly tendencies. Because I, I've had that since the beginning. However, that aside, I, I'm planting the flowers because they're medicinal as well. Oh, it's already full. Well, ain't that a bitch. Okay, move that all over to my inventory then, because we got to conserve space. And unfortunately, the stones are not that important. The bones, on the other hand, might be. Can I do anything with the bones? Like, I feel like I can't really do much with the bones. I guess just make some bone needles or something. Like, I, I don't know what those are useful for. I assume maybe we make, like, a loom or something later on, and that will affect our effic efficiency with loomery. I don't know. Got thistle seeds. Man, I got all kinds of seeds in my inventory. That lasts for 5,000 turns. Can I preserve it? Yeah, preserve that shit. Ugh, that makes it last for way longer. Yeah, throw hella slime gelatin on that. Apparently, we can give it a nice slime base. And after giving it a good slime base, it lasts a lot longer. I'm trying to get better at throwing. Don't judge me. It's not my fault that I throw limp wristed. My dad never took me out to play catch because it was a hard knock life growing up. Got a pile of ash that I can like throw in somebody's eyes if they try to get after me. Like, ah, pocket sand. You get them with it. 
prepared pemmican. I'm not hungry right now. See, I desperately, I want to do some of this stuff, but it's not available yet. I need to dig some dirt. Not like a lot, just a little so I can make more compost right there. And then what we'll do is we'll take the compost. There is nothing here to garden with a pile of compost. Oh, do I just plant the seed? Well, here, let's try this out. We have... What kind of seeds do I have here? I gotta have something. Can I get wild onion seeds? Like, is that even possible? Do those... Or are the wild onions just like a thing that I pick up? Oh, fine. Whatever. I don't get wild onion seeds. But we've got berry seeds over here. And berry seeds sound good. So let's say that I have the berry seeds. And I want to plant these. Let's take the berry seeds, and then I plant them, and then I composticate them. You use the soil to speed up the growing process, and so it's a growing berry bush. And I assume that if I only pick the berries off of that, I should be a little bit more solid. I think we probably got like a, a don't starve thing going on right now, where it looks like the compost just like flat out makes it go a little quicker maybe? I don't know. I'm going to plant grass seeds over here because I don't want this to be all over the place. No, I failed to plant seeds. How hard is it to push something down into the ground with your finger? Man, buddy, you are really falling down right now. We'll close that door. Is this raging? Is it The fire is very, very healthy. Can I eat? The, oh, I can eat the seeds too. That would be cool. I wonder how I make like leather working and stuff like that. Like, How do I make like rawhide and all that kind of stuff? Rawhide! Like, is there a... There's got to be a thing that I'm missing here. Let's try tan. No. Leather. No. Hide. That also does not work. Okay. Well, since that's not working, a smooth rock would do for making our mortar and pestle, which is something that we don't have just yet. And I will take... Move to inventory. Move to inventory. And then... To make a smooth rock, I think you need a sharp rock. Yeah, and then it takes a sharp rock and a normal rock, and that makes a smooth rock. And how many of those do I need? I need two of them, I think, was what it said. So I'll move that to my inventory again. We'll sharpen one of those bitches. And there it is. And now we've got a mortar and pestle. And I think you build this. Like, I think you go like... Oh. Maybe you don't. So what does that do for me? We can make a hardened bind out of this amber that we found on the ground. So now that we have melted amber, we can also make carbon powder by grinding up what? What makes our carbon powder? The fossil. So we've got carbon powder. Black sooty carbonized powder. I would assume that if you mix that with saltpeter and maybe niter, niter might even be saltpeter, I don't remember. Basically what they used to do back in the day is they would get saltpeter and they would mix it with bat guano because bat guano has chemicals that combine with the with the saltpeter or whatever. And then they would also mix it up with like ashes or something like that and it would give them like baseline explosives. I can't do much with that. I mean, we're at the point right now where I kind of just got to go through things and figure out what I want to do next. We've gotten a lot of that done. I mean, the kiln would be a really, really good idea. The kiln would be a solid plan. Like, I would be down for the crafting of the kiln so that we can start making ourselves some more clay goods. But on top of that, I would also be down... I would be more than down, in fact, to make a few more torches and see if maybe I can explore the dungeon a bit better. Although this time around, I would do things a tiny bit differently. So we got that right there. We'll strip some bark real fast. There it is. We strip the bark. A little bit more and we should be in better shape. Oh, I can make tannin. So a tannin, a mortar and pestle and tree bark. Oh. Who knew? See, things pop up while you're playing this game. You never quite know. Give me another knife, and we'll work on our lumberjacking a little bit further. Make some of the uh, tannin and see what kind of happens here. 
So after making the tannin, I can tan leather. And after tanning leather, did that unlock anything for me? Is there anything in here? Not that I see. I'm pretty familiar with what a lot of the stuff in here looks like. And it's possible that we might just need more of it. Yeah, make some more tannin. I don't know. We'll sit on that shit for right now. Got a bunch of tannin. We make it happen. Now, the original plan was just to strip Bart down in here. So I should probably finish that off before we work on other tasks. You felt yourself becoming more agile. Huzzah for us. Hooray. There's peace in the Mushroom Kingdom again. And then the torch was... That's a cooked cod. It kind of looks like a bark torch. Okay. And then finally, we just need a pole. And so I can make that pretty easily. So there's a torch right there. We'll take that with us into the dungeon, and we'll have another look around just to see how things go during today's adventures. I mean, there might be treasure or something else in there. You can never tell. Give me some kindling. Give me some tinder. I'm just going to alternate until I get it back. And it looks like the amber hardened. So I'm going to save that for a little bit because I don't know exactly what it's for. We'll move that all in there. We've got a whole bunch of strip bark right there. I could actually make another torch if I needed to. Yeah, that's cool. All right, so we got a bark torch that's exceptional too. We've got to light it on something. Let me get things stowed away first. So that we're not overweighing ourselves. At which point... We're still carrying 47 pounds around with us. That's just way, way too much. I'll probably drop that right there then. Uh, we can eat the pemmican right now. Sure, why not? It'll probably be alright. Still missing health from our big fight with the bear. I I've got the tannin and the hides. I mean, I guess I could cure a few more of these. We're not very good at it though, our leather working appears to be quite poorly. It might also unlock at thresholds, it's hard to tell. Do I have any more bark? I mean, I I'm interested in chasing this down. It's like maybe when we get to 25... Did my mortar or pestle break? Oh, I think my mortar or pestle broke, okay. Well, that's fine. Then we'll move that all to the open container. Move all that. Move all that. Okay. So let's ignite our good-ass torch here. And we'll see if we can find a few more adventures underground. What happened to my iron spear? Did I break it on accident? I must have broke it on accident by leaving it equipped while I was doing other stuff. That's all that I can figure. We're only doing slightly less damage. Really, the most important thing to have in this game is a healthy ability to soak damage, not deal it. I mean, as long as you can take the hit and keep on coming, then you should be fine. Just outlast everything. Make a wooden arrow, sure. My fletching and rain craft has become slightly better. Was this the one that had the uh, the dickhead imp down inside of it? Thank God he can't follow us back up to the surface. We'd be having a rough afternoon if that was the case, huh? We're getting run down by little red naked men with wings. Story of my life. Illustrated. I think this is the side we want to be on right now. Alright, let's have a look around. Our torch went out, but that means we can get some piles of ashes going on. We still don't have a great means by which to see what's going on. What is that? An old instructional scroll. What the hell is an instructional scroll? It's see, a tattered sheet of paper with some roughly scribbled construct or instructions and diagrams. Uh, you have learned how to make a fishing rod. Oh, cool. So I guess that's just like a recipe that's laying around in the dungeon. What is that right there? Talc? I'm more interested in iron. If we could run that down, I would feel better. It looks like we have become stronger, which is great because we need to be able to lift more stuff. Otherwise, what is that? A skeleton. 
I'm gonna avoid him for right now because we don't know what he's gonna do to us. A locked wooden chest. Well, I got that lock pick, don't I? We failed to pick the lock. Yay, you unlocked the chest and it took us a couple tries, but our skills went up. And now we can see the contents. A legendary wrought iron double axe. Oh my god. The first chest we open, and it's got a legendary item inside of it. Yeah, combat and gathering. Equip that thing. Get that thing locked in. A legendary iron double axe. We have to go test it on something. Like, how can we not? We have to go find something to murder with this. A little bit of cotton in there and a stone spear. Okay. Can I pick this up if I want it? Oh, I can. Cool. Okay, I'll worry about that a little bit. I've got a wrought iron axe, bro. I don't care what you want to try with me, but I'm coming after you. And apparently I got a fro- Oh, shit. We're bleeding hella bad. Oh, no. Hmm. Hmm. Please craft a bandage so that we can heal our bleeding. Oh, thank Christ, it worked. It worked! Oh my god, Jesus of the legendary battle axe. You are you are the best, thank you. Sometimes you gotta pray to the applicable Jesus. <laughs> that bat got rolled out on. He got dropped by our legendary wrought iron double axe. We have to give it a name, can we name it? I wanna name it, that's what I want. Aw, oh, you can't name it. I was gonna name it something badass. Like Chaos Cleaver. Imp Smasher. Yeah, nobody said it was a sharp axe. What is that? There's a wooden spear and some taint meat. Great. Just what I always wanted. Yeah, make a couple more lockpicks just in case. And then I'll turn that into a needle. Now, we don't really know what we're going to come across down here. It seems as though it's a smart idea to have like a lot of tourniquets and other random stuff to stop bleeding though. Because that bleeding damage could have done us in. 7 damage per tick. What is that? A wooden arrow? I'll take it. I love freebies. We got another fossil right here. I'll turn that into carbon powder in just a minute. Uh... We lucked out really hard on that last one. I don't know if you realize how hard we lucked out that I was able to make a bandage. Because we were pretty close to bleeding to death. We've got talc. Damn, I need iron. What the shit is that? A harpy? Nah, I ain't messing around with harp-wielding fantasy creatures. No, thank you. Nobody ever talks about the guitarpies, though. The pianarpies. The <laughs> pianarpies sounds painful. Like, hey, man, how you feeling today? Uh, I got pianarpies, you know. Pianarpies are flaming up. Wow, we chopped down that tree in like two swings. Because we're just that badass. Alright, so I got a strip bark here. And then we make some strings. What is that? A suture? A sharp needle tool with an attached to string used to sew and close gaping wounds. Restore a varied amount of health. Hell yeah, make some sutures, man. I mean, it's suture made out of wood. Which has me a little concerned. Normally, I don't think I would use a suture that's made out of wood, but it's remarkable. That means that when we see it, we feel the call to make a remark about it. Why not? I will remark on this needle. This needle looks like it is made out of wood, and I would not put it inside my flesh. Not for a second. I honestly just want a tourniquet. That's, like, the big thing that I desire right now. And then, like, if I make another needle, I can make more sutures so that we've at least got some medical items laying around so that, like, worst case scenario is that if we get split open like we did against that skeleton, we can heal the status effect. I would say that probably 85% of my deaths in this game are from status effects, not direct damage or anything like that. Woven fabric. Take string and needle. Huh. Can you still make a band-aid out of it? Oh, you can. You can make a woven band-aid out of it. Okay. We haven't had much luck finding more iron, which is really what I want. Oh, there's a bear. I mean, this bear underestimates the fact that I've got a legendary weapon that I just found in a chest buried deep inside of a dungeon where I fought mythical creatures for it. So he might not be... I mean, we definitely... 
We got our hero quest on. We've upgraded to the Broad Sode. Anyways, I'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for coming along. This is a uh, wayward. I will see you in tomorrow's episode. It's been a lot of fun so far. Hi, everybody.